Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you something that I've been doing that has been amazing for being more effective with time management and just allowing me to feel productive and get things done without stressing out. And what it is, is using a 10 minute timer to do baby steps. I've been using this for doing household chores, decluttering, organizing, and honestly, you can use the same methods I'm gonna share with you in this video for health and fitness goals, for pretty much anything. You can use it for your job, and um, I'm just really excited to share this with you guys, and I hope that one or several of these methods will help you out. And so, the first one is to set a 10 minute timer right before you watch TV or do anything leisurely or just chilling out or relaxing, or maybe you're gonna call a friend and chat for an hour. So I started doing this one with TV. So before I watch a TV show or sit down to watch a movie, I will set a 10 minute timer and commit to doing some sort of cleaning or organizing that needs to be done. And so for example, I will set a 10 minute timer and maybe I'll get a damp cloth and wipe down all of the baseboards in a couple of the rooms in my house. And then when that timer goes off, then I'm done. I just stop and I don't feel that I need to get the job done perfectly or continue on or go on a cleaning and organizing, you know, frenzy. The point of this is just to commit to doing something for 10 minutes and get in the habit of doing something for 10 minutes and just being able to complete the job and then going about your day. Because what this helps me to do anyways is to break down big tasks that I may find daunting and just take some sort of action. Just diligent and consistent action done over time really can create some incredible results. And there's a quote that goes something along the lines of, there's no such thing as one big achievement. Everything is daily small tasks. And for me, that is such a de-stressing thought. When I actually look at that and, and am able to break things down, b break some big scary goals that I have down into tiny little actionable steps, it just makes me feel like, hey, I can handle this. Like you can do anything for 10 minutes. You might say like, oh, I really, really wanna have an organized closet, but I don't have the tools I need. I don't have all the you know, color coordinated hangers I want. I don't have the time. I don't have an entire weekend to declutter, so I'm not gonna do anything. And that mindset was kind of keeping me stuck in some areas and making me procrastinate because I just felt like, like, no, 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 I want to wait so that I can do certain things perfectly. And this 10 minute baby step idea has allowed me to get so much done without even really realizing that I'm doing much work at all. Because 10 minutes is just so doable. It, it feels like it's nothing. And the long term effects of doing this consistently and kind of making a game of it and saying like, hey, I've got, you know, a free 10 minutes. Let me set a 10 minute timer and see what I can do. And it's pretty incredible. So at the end of this video, I am gonna do 10 minutes with you. I've actually pre-recorded it uh, a couple hours ago, um, but I'm gonna do 10 minutes of a household chore and you can leave the video playing while you do 10 minutes of something that is important to you. Just find anything, something that you're like, hey, I do wanna get to that and that's something I should get done, so why don't I do it right now? It can be cleaning out your purse, it can be, uh, it can be emptying your inbox on your computer, it can be, uh, cleaning something, wiping something down in your house, in the room that you're currently in. Could be emptying some garbage cans that need to be emptied. And so the next one on my list that I wanna share with you, I have four different ways to use a 10 minute timer. The next way is um, before bed. I really like this one as well. So setting a 10 minute timer and before 
bed spending 10 minutes prepping something that would make tomorrow morning easier for you. So maybe that is setting out an outfit for yourself, which doesn't need to take more than 10 minutes, but can make you feel really good when you wake up to know that you've already picked something out. Maybe you tried it on the night before to make sure you really like how you look in it. Um, and another thing that you could do the night before is maybe prep your breakfast, you know, at least prep the back breakfast area. You don't have to actually have your toast in the toaster waiting to be put down, but you can, you know, get your bowl out for cereal or oatmeal. You can get your uh, tea mug or coffee mug area all prepped. That's something that I do um, so that when Alex and I have our morning coffee, it's just ready for like when I wake up so that I can just make it and it's easier and it just feels nice to prep things so that in the morning your day gets off to a better start and you'd be surprised what you can get done in 10 minutes and that's if I could sum up the whole video is that you would be surprised what you can get done in 10 minutes like it really is shocking and I think a part of the reason is that so many of us are getting distracted on our phones, getting distracted with devices and computers and TV and things going on and getting sidetracked all the time that if you actually focus on one thing only diligently for 10 solid minutes, that's actually more time than it may sound like and you can actually get quite a bit done. And so the third way that you can use a 10 minute timer is to do a digital declutter. So you can set your timer for 10 minutes and empty your inbox, uh, empty your junk mail, delete files off of your phone that are using up space. Maybe you have duplicate photos or videos that you didn't even realize you weren't meaning to take a video and you have all these you know, things that are taking up space on your device. Or maybe you can unsubscribe from email newsletters that you don't want to receive. This is something I started doing uh, recently because I just, you know, the amount of things that I get on my phone that I'm like, I never open this. Like, I don't even ever remember visiting this store and they're emailing me two times a day and, you know, I don't want to buy anything from them. So I just delete it. And it's, uh, it's something that is time consuming and you know if you wanted to completely do a digital declutter it might take a few hours but if you can just set a 10 minute timer maybe you're in a waiting room somewhere just waiting and you've got some extra time challenge yourself set a 10 minute timer and see how much you can get done um, I think that anytime you can make something a game and try to make it fun and challenge yourself then it's going to be more successful and the odds are you will keep it up and you want to do it again um, okay, so that is number three, the digital declutter. The fourth one that I want to share with you is to do declutter 10 items in 10 minutes. So what I recommend for this one is to get some sort of a designated box, bin, bucket that you keep in your home that when you do this digital, or sorry, uh, physical declutter, you get that box, you walk around your home and you find anything that doesn't know, doesn't need to be there anymore. This could be items from your fridge that have expired, or maybe for some reason you put something back in your pantry that was empty and it's just sitting there and you're like, why did I do that? Um, and so things like that that need to go, that can count toward your tally. Um, and you can get rid of items that maybe someone lent to you. You know, you need to return that to that person. So put that item in your bag when you're gonna go see them or put that item in your car to get it out of the house. Um, you can also declutter your paper items. So maybe you get mail, junk mail, and you just shove it in a drawer and you're thinking, well, why do I need all this? Like, let's count the items out and get this all out of the house. And you know, 10 items is not gonna make a huge dent if you have a ton of clutter in your home. But if you do that once a day for 10 minutes in a month, you're gonna have a pretty decluttered home without feeling that you even did much work and you still get the same amazing result. Um, and so, uh, I also want to let you know on my website, I did a blog post where I made a downloadable um, PDF document that you can have for free and it has a ton of ideas. I created little lists of 10 minute activities. So I made one for decluttering and cleaning household chores and I made another list for uh, fitness and health 
goals. So 10 minute things you can do to make yourself healthier. And, and then I also have a blank template so that if you want to fill in your own, you can just print this out and you can fill in your own 10 minute uh, activities and tasks. And the reason this is really good is I like to uh, have one that's you know cut out and pasted somewhere. Maybe you tape it inside a drawer that you have or a cupboard so that when you set your 10 minute timer, you don't really have to brainstorm and come up with new ideas. You have them all written out there and you can kind of just point to one and say, okay, that one says, go wipe down your front door inside and out, you know, and then go do that. And you can pick another one every day. Um, I do like the idea where you pair it up with a task that you already do every day. So for example, I said before you watch your TV show, maybe you watch the same show every night. Before you do that, set your 10 minute timer, pick one of the 10 minute tasks on the list and do that. Or uh, maybe brushing your teeth. Maybe before you brush your teeth at night, you do the 10 minute uh, prep for the, the next morning. Find a way to pair up a habit that you already have with a new habit that you want to have and it just makes it so 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 much easier once you piggyback that habit on before you know it you'll be setting that 10 minute timer and doing these things without even having to really use much willpower and lastly i just want to say this is all about process not outcome sometimes focusing too much on the outcome that you want to achieve can stress you out and make you feel overwhelmed like for me at least the idea of having to achieve perfection on something or thinking like i want to have a perfectly organized house or i want to have you know my kitchen completely organized and every cupboard looking perfect and da 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 whatever your your idea of something that you want to work toward is so when you build that up too much and you have that outcome in mind it can be easy to procrastinate on doing anything toward it because you think like the only way i'm going to get that is if i spend like 2 weeks non-stop trying to achieve that result you know but really what we're gonna what we're gonna shift to now is focusing on the process so that's just 10 minutes the pro i'm gonna do 10 minutes of some sort of process and eventually the result is going to be a great outcome that i'm wanting but allowing yourself to focus on just doing it really is something that can kind of take that pressure off. So if you're like me and sometimes you would procrastinate on doing big things, you can use this process for anything. So if you're writing a book, you can say, okay, I'm gonna set my timer, maybe you will do 20 minutes. And you'll say, I'm not gonna pressure myself to write a certain number of words. I'm not gonna pressure myself to finish an entire chapter. I'm not gonna do that at all. I'm just gonna sit here and I'm gonna write. And then when my timer beeps, then I'm done and I can feel proud of myself. And you can use that for everything. You can use that for fitness. You can say, you know, 15 minute timer, I'm just gonna move my body. I'm gonna put some music on. I'm gonna dance around my house. I'm gonna have fun and that's it. And then you, you do that enough, then the results are pretty incredible. All right, so I want you to pick one task that you're gonna do with me right now. Uh, think of something that would just be nice to say, hey, I did that. Maybe I'll give you a couple ideas. Maybe you do a digital declutter where you spend 10 minutes decluttering stuff from your phone. Or maybe you clean out your car. Or maybe you wipe down your baseboards in the room, are they dusty? Or you take a, a cloth and wipe down the mirrors in your house. So choose something really easy, something that's doable. Maybe you just go through your fridge and throw out old food, organize things nicely, wipe down the inside of your fridge so that it looks nice and organized and clean when you open it. If you can do that in 10 minutes. All right, you ready? I'm gonna set my timer and I'm gonna go into my kitchen and I'm gonna wipe down my counters and my uh, stove and my microwave and my fridge. So I'm gonna do that in 10 minutes and you'll hear my timer go off uh, after 10 minutes. I'm using my stove timer since I'm filming on my phone. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. Again, I will post the link to the free downloadable uh, PDF in the description box of this video. I will see you next time. Love you so much. Bye. Thank you.
All right, so my 10 minute timer just went off and honestly, I got so much more done in that 10 minutes than just doing my countertops. I washed the inside of my sink, I wiped my the outside of my stove and oven and microwave and also my fridge and it feels good i'm feeling good like just 10 minutes is nothing it goes by like that but you can see how if you consistently just take those 10 minute segments of time throughout your day and just say what can i get done right now um and the point of that is not to to go longer now i'm done i'm done i'm not going to stay there's other things i could do to clean up but i'm not going to if you're wondering what i used for uh washing up liquid i used dr bronner's mixed with a couple of drops of lemon essential oil and hot water and i just plugged my sink filled up some hot water got a nice sudsy consistency and just use that to wash everything and it's natural eco-friendly and smells really good as well and i hope that uh, you enjoy this 10 minute timer method i'd love to know what you did for your 10 minutes or if you didn't do it uh, when you decide that you are going to do it what do you think you will use this method for all right see you guys next time thanks for watching bye